Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Rocky Rocket, and welcome back to my reaction to the Halo 4 Spartan Ops cutscenes and cinematics. We're, uh, we're most of the way through, so I think I'm going to finish it today. I, uh, you know, I've, I've, the story's kind of been new Spartans have shown up. Uh, they found an artifact. They took it up to infinity. The artifact just happens to be a communication slash tel uh, teleportation device where they keep stealing scientists because they're trying to get to the librarian of the Forerunner archive thingy. Yeah, that's the one. Um, and Glassman, just, the, you know, the default scientist, he just uh, left with Thorn. See, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm, I'm a genius. My memory is just in, incredible. I don't remember my name most of the time. Um, <laughs> so Thorn and Glassman are running away. They managed to kill uh, uh, Julian Umdama's right-hand man's brother. So that's kind of put them in the poop because he didn't look very happy at the end of the, uh, the episode, the last episode. So I think that he's going to go on the hunt and try and kill them both. Uh, and so we're going to try and see if that's the case. I know at the end that uh, Halsey's either going to voluntarily go with Umdama, which I'm pretty sure she was talking to him over the device and then got arrested. So yeah, uh, we're all caught up. I'm going to press a button now. Is Gek going to go on the hunt? Dalton, we found Crimson. Distract the bad guys for a second. You got it. Firing solution resolved. Incoming. Well. Nice. Wow, you are blind and... Crimson, there's several Covenant aircraft docked in this area. Go see if anybody left the keys in the ignition. We're gonna steal a spaceship? <laughs> I like this idea. Okay. Shield down. Hell yes. I thought we were dead. Lieutenant T.J. Murphy at your service. There's a Phantom nearby that should suit Crimson's needs, if they can find a way to override its security systems. Hell, the Infinity, how wire a Covenant space boat isn't oh. exactly difficult. If Crimson gives me some cover, I'll get us airborne. Phantom's free and ready to fly. Okay. I haven't seen much, like, I don't know who's on... I think we're, I've been watching the cutscenes, and the cutscenes only focus on uh, the, t the Majestic team, Team Majestic, whatever the fuck they're called, the Blue ones. Uh, and then there's Crimson. I don't know who's on Crimson, because the cutscenes have been focused on Majestic. Uh, so I'm kind of lost when they start talking about those, but I guess they don't really matter, because it's more about what happens to Halsey and uh, Lasky and Sarah Palmer. Is that a name? Ah, so many names, so many things to remember. There you are. You've still got two arms here, don't you feel good? Can I ask you a question, Doc? I don't really like Roland. What were you hoping to achieve with your little subterfuge? I mean, Captain Lasky put a lot of faith in you. Yes, his hospitality speaks wonders. Yeah, on, it's Doc. cold in there, isn't it? What is keeping secrets ever really gained you? What is hidden can be useful. Such as? Such as the phrase, undid iridium. Un 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 UNSCAI override instructions active, Dr. Catherine Halsey. Roland. I mean, what? Is there anything this 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 lady scientist didn't do? You know? She's made Cortana. The Infinity's engines all by herself, no help, no no nothing. Master Chief's armor, the entire of Master Chief's team and all the ones that died, probably invented the Flash clones, probably wrote the outline for the entire Spartan program, which I'm pretty sure she did. What else? There, is she, is her initials, you know, secretly UNSC, does she, is that what she, is, is she the, into, I'm just baffled by this lady's skill. <laughs> Can I have some? Stop being greedy. And now you've hacked Roland, and I'm quite glad because he's... I'm not a fan of the uh, the old school pilot outfit because, you know, he's the AI that flies a ship. It's kind of... 
Ridiculous. I like my naked blue women, please. Tell the guards outside that Captain Lasky has requested my presence in his ready room. Then block all further communications. Yes. Captain has to see you, Doctor. Well, she kind of has uh, the control of everything. I didn't know that. Thanks very much. Have a seat, Doctor. Thank you, gentlemen. You may go. So yeah, she's gonna willfully hang, us, uh, ha hang herself and herself over to Umdama. To this terminal. Yes, Doctor. That's my guess. The Didax hand. If people would just share things with me, I could solve all the world's problems. Send everything the UNSC has on the librarian to my data pad. Yes, Dr. Catherine Halsey. This is all my own research. I need new information. Anything that has been kept from me. Only one data point exists that is not your own research. Debriefing of Master Chief Petty Officer Spartan 117, post-New Phoenix incident. John? I... So with your name? Prep a pelican for immediate launch. What you doing? And patch this terminal into the comm systems infiltrated by the artifact. Doc, whatever you did to me! Ah! Yes, Dr. Catherine Halsey. Jewel Mdama. Yay, my old Catherine Halsey. We have played your game quite long enough, and we are both out of time. In our previous conversation, you mentioned assistance. Who <coughs> but the Didax hand could offer me a Promethean soul? <coughs> what we both want, Jewel. Librarian. A powerful name for me as well as you. Librarian was very fond of humans. Yeah. Did you know that? That was a dirty trick, Doc. <coughs> My turn now. Stay right where you are, Doctor. You know when uh, you know when a character is just so unlikable, and then they do something that's supposed to be like heroic, and it does nothing for you. That was what just happened. I'm not a fan of Roland. Uh, it's the stupid outfit. I'm sorry. You know, I've seen was her name in Halo Wars, Serena, and Cortana. And then we got Roland. What? Dr. Halls, I've underestimated you long enough. A cryo tube should hold you until. Oh. John's alive. He was here on the ship. Nobody yep. told me he was alive. Oh shit, yeah, so, uh, oh, I've only just put that together. Thank you, Brain, well done for catching up. It's been a while. Uh, this is set, obviously, after Halo 3, where everyone thought that John was dead because they were floating in the arse of the Pillar of Autumn. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, <laughs> probably not that one. I don't fucking know, but I'm going to say Pillar of Autumn. I'm starting to buy my words. Yeah, Pillar of Autumn is uh, hanging out, just chilling, literally. Uh, whilst what Cortana goes into rampancy. So everyone thought he was dead until he showed up, like, later on Requiem. And then on the ship. So yeah, I've caught up now. Hi, everybody. They're everywhere! Oh, poop. Hold along. So, Jewel and Dama sent a bunch of people. Out of busy, Captain. I hate when they do that. That's a beautiful shot, by the way. I hate when they do that. Do you know how much it takes to kill one of them fucking knights? Definitely not just one shot to the face. Makes me feel like a bitch. Knights are facing to the artifact. Don't worry, we'll keep them contained in the hangar. Too late. They're here too. Uh, 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 now, 
Lasky's not allowed to die. I refuse. I, I've watched. I watched that ch uh, film where his uh, miss it, his, his girlfriend in in the training. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, she died. Not watching more. Not watching more people die. It opened its face. Of course you were going to kill it. Commander Palmer to all Spartan fire teams. Infinity has been boarded. Every fire team that can hear this transmission, fall back to Infinity and help with defense. Palmer out. Crimson, Infinity has been boarded. We're under attack. I'm canceling your op and bringing you home. Oh, shit. Ship's defenses can't pick you out of the crowd. It's okay. I got this. Hell. I love that. I've got this. Does a fucking twirl get shot anyway? Great. <laughs> Here we come! And everyone survived. Hell of an entrance, Spartans. Crimson, help the Marines secure that hangar. Oh no, this is the afterlife, surely. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Are you gonna die? Good work, Crimson. Bastard. Your work's not done yet, Crimson. Get moving towards the engine room. Spartan Miller, Infinity's half defense is just. You see that? So he, he said that, and then he looked back at his script to see if he said the, the line right. Just went offline. What? How? Weapon cooling systems are deactivated. They overheated and safety protocols kicked in. We're defenseless. Crimson, aft weapon control is just off the engine room. I'm sending you to help. Lots of button pushing. Lots of button pushing in spawn ops. I can tell that. Work perfectly. Guns are back online. Enjoy the fireworks, Crimson. Nice. You're really knocking some heads together out there, Crimson. Let's take down the rest of these freaks and call it a day. Every time it's like, did I say that right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, you still Spartan. alive? Then I mean, not for long. I'm not a Spartan. I gotta have some rest. Please. Why are we walking anyway? Isn't your armor all full of comm gear? Used to be. <laughs> Good night. I'm, how much further? Galileo base is two, maybe three clicks that way. Another couple hours and we'll be home. <sighs> Dr. Glassman, get to safety. Huh? What is it? There, where, there was no escalation in that. <laughs> It was not like a pause where he knew. He was just like, reel off these lines, reel off these lines. Get to safety. He, he's dead now. He's dead. You're dead. Sorry, I'm being a nitpicky bitch. I'm just, I've had a day. I've had, it's Friday. I'm going to say what I want to say. I love you all. And I hope you're having a wonderful time. Yeah, you're offended, right? And I need to stop pausing. Otherwise, I'm never going to do this. Captain, the Promethean. Keep moving, Doctor. Found him, Roland. Dr. Halsey, too. Still alive? For now. Was there some concern? Maybe a little. Then they said, oh, by the way, I've just remembered something. When Sarah first walked into the control room and she walked over, oh, I thought it was nap time. Uh, yeah, doesn't Lasky get like a, a full body rash if he goes into cryo sleep and she was mocking him? That's that's what I got from that. Maybe I'm overthinking that, but that's what that that's what I thought she was on about. A fist fight with, with a Sangili, whatever the. I, I will get the name right, of course, at some point. Because you're winning. I don't understand how you're winning. Uh, 
Wait. Ow. Ah, yeah, broken arm. LEDX Machina, because, you know, they're all covered in LEDs. It was very strange to see all that. Why are they so sparkly? Man, we even look at absolutely everywhere for you. <laughs> Lieutenant James, take us out of orbit. Move us far enough away from Requiem that those things can't get on board. The controls aren't responding, Captain. Infinity's locked in position. Captain, look here. The artifact is acting as a slip space anchor holding us in place. Slip space isn't physical. It can't there hold. There's still a great many things we don't know about slip space. You, quiet. You were supposed to fix this whole thing days ago. No! I'm sorry, Captain. Damn it! It was a smash and grab. They came here just for her. And they smashed you, grabbed her. You see? You see? Accurate, uh, accurate, accurate labels. We'll forget I said that. Accurate labels. And you smashed the fucking table. How much that table cost? Some of these tags belong to Spartans. With my thanks. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's what we need. That's what we need. We need a frat boy with a laser sword. Great. I bet the ladies of Rio de Janeiro will really be happy for you having a big throbbing thing in your hand. Wonderful. Nice. Watch this. Hey. <laughs> you guys are getting all the cool stuff. Yeah? What do you get? Ah. Oh, this is his colostomy bag. What's this? Oh, great. I got a map. <laughs> just as useless, but it's pretty nice. It's just it's pretty nice look. It's pretty nice. You know? <clears throat> Captain Lasky? Hey, Admiral Osman. You've seen the report on Dr. Halsey? I was advised to keep Catherine in the darkest, deepest hole I could find. Why? Or have her removed from the equation entirely. Regrettably, I chose to do neither. So, Captain, today I shall follow my predecessor's advice. You are hereby ordered to eliminate Dr. Catherine Elizabeth Halsey. Oh. You are no fool, Dr. Halsey. Like me, you seek knowledge. Kawabunga. I have power, Doctor. Knowledge is power. Glassman did this? I wouldn't be so sure. The protective shield is emanating from the structure itself. And if I'm right... She did that with an iPad. That shows you. Well, everyone says, you know, why buy an iPad? It's just that. That's why. Don't buy an iPad. I'm not sponsored by Apple. They couldn't, they couldn't pay me enough. Access requires a more human touch. Really? Is that why she lost her arm? You see, they're both exactly the same. Julem Dama and Catherine Halsey are exactly the same. They just, he's so greedy. She knows enough. She's built enough stuff to create legend, and yet she still wants more. It's greed. It's still greed. Stop. She's only out here because of me. I mean, we're soldiers, not hitmen. Alzi knew what she was doing when she made friends with the bad guys. I'm serious. We shouldn't have to execute a civilian. 
No, but it has to be done. And I don't trust anyone else to do it right. There has to be another way. I, I mean... I know what you mean, Tom. And I won't see you court-martialed over that woman. Sarah, stand down. Orders are orders, Tom. This isn't my first rodeo. I've killed... I've killed several people before breakfast, is what she meant by that. Roland, where's Fireteam Majestic right now? What the hell happened to the audio? Does, he, does this part have, like, music that's not supposed to be... Right there. Weird mix. Terrible audio. Yeah, the music. They've tried to cut Fire out the music. Dr. Glassman. Glad to see everyone alive and well. I believe you can do that on YouTube now, and it makes it sound like this, which is kind of just crushed, crappy audio. So uh, I apologize. I can't do anything about it. Captain Lasky, wasn't expecting to see you here, sir. Majestic, I have a personal favor to ask. Dr. Halsey has been abducted. Welcome. You. You are librarian. Wife yep. of Didact. There is a Covenant cultist leader outside. He thinks you have something valuable. And he is correct. But what I have is not for him. It is for you, Catherine Halsey. I want to go in. I want gifts. I mean, I probably won't understand you because I'm not a scientist by any measure. You know? What I do might be scientific, and it's it's not. It's not. I just ramble. I just record myself rambling, and people like it. Thank you. But I want gifts. What's up, baby? And dead. Hello. I always wondered what the racist terms were towards the Covenant, and now I know. Hinge heads. We got this. You go get the old lady. Really? You've got guns on your back and you use a sword? You know, I know I do it, but, but I'm an idiot. Why are you doing it? This is the Janus Key. It offers the real-time location of every piece of Forerunner technology in the galaxy. Every piece? We did not create so much without a means to catalog it all. This was meant for my husband to help your people. And his meditation was complete. Take this key to the absolute record. Use what you find to propel humankind. Why get Wow, she's literally being given like keys to further humanity and the authority over humans, UNSC, hate her and want her dead. Fine to propel humankind. Why give this to me? Requiem's time is at an end. The key and what it details must not be lost. Oh, they got half each. Oh, very nice. 
nice. Okay. Okay. Okay, I wasn't... Jewel did it as a favor to keep her alive, I guess. Action! Flashing lights! Quick cuts! Particles! Nice. What the hell are you guys doing here? Captain Lasky sent us to rescue Dr. Halsey. Rescue her? She's a traitor. All due respect, Commander. If she was on Juom Dama's side, then why was she so sure I needed to get this before he could? You see? Now they have one key apiece. We have what we came for. You really don't. Whoever does not make it to the ship will die with Requiem. Wow. So, Jewel's not as smart or as well protected as the Prophets. So. He can, he's, I can see why he died. You know what? I can actually see why he died in the first cutscene of uh, Halo 5. He's stupid. So, I don't know, I, obviously I don't know this, because it seems like uh, Halo 5 is not touching on the key at all until probably later. Why, I have a question, why did they put this story that they are furthering in Halo 5, why did they put the Spartan Ops story as a optional why did they make it optional? Why did they say, well, there's a multiplayer campaign that you can play? Um, <laughs> but, you know, people did, probably didn't play it. And then they continued the story. I bet, I bet people got to Halo 5 and were like, what's that? What? How's he's lost an arm? What? This projection device that Majestic found shows two more artifacts down on Requiem, just like the one in our hangar. Now... They are the Requiem end of a slip space conduit, which is physically connecting Infinity to Requiem. If we can deactivate them, Infinity should be free to move. Yeah. Dan Palmer, we're sending down the necessary deactivation codes. Majestic and I will take care of the first artifact. Roland, send Fireteam Crimson the second set of coordinates. You got it, Commander. Commander. Captain, they're not attacking. They're entering flip space. Oh, yeah. You've only got this can't be good. a very small amount of time. Captain, it's not us that's moving. It's Requiem. The artifact conduits, they're pulling infinity with it. Straight into the sun. If we it's not called the sun. The star. Stupid. <laughs> I'm making sure up. This is actually, it's, you know what? This hasn't been bad. This, is, this has been a good little story. I don't, I don't think uh, Spartan Ops is very long. Uh, and I've heard the levels are multiplayer maps. So, uh, you know, I expected a lot less. It's been all right. It's been pretty good. We have to find those artifacts before Infinity can leave. And let's get moving, Spartans. LED force, go! Let's be quick about this, yeah? Please? Roland, are you nervous? We're all gonna be in the heart of the star real soon if Crimson and Majestic don't succeed. So yeah, I'm nervous. Hunters, hey, my favorite. Dr. Glassman, you online? I'm here, yes. Crimson's where you said they should be. And all they found is a big rock. The artifact is inside that rock wall. 
inside. Okay. Oh. Beautiful. Mining lasers opened a passage to the cave system. Commander Palmer, we're in. Miller, just tell me when you're done. DeMarco, wake up on your six. That's it. That's what we're after. Roland, tell Captain Lasky that Crimson has reached their artifact. Done and done. Take it offline, Crimson. Artifacts off the network. Only Majestic's target remains. And I don't think Requiem appreciated it. So I said this yesterday, I was talking to NoClick and I was just like, uh, the reason why there's, there's something that bugs me about Halo 4 and Halo 5, and it is that the Prometheans and the, the Spartans or the humans in general all have very similar shapes involved in them. So like the Flood was a very, a very organic, but it, the, the enemies look nothing like the Spartans. The Covenant look nothing like the humans at all. But the Prometheans, where they don't have, you know, they're, they're ancient humans, right? The Promethean knights are like ancient humans. They all share similar shapes in terms of their armor. So it kind of just feels like I'm fighting against humans all the time or humanoid. They, they, they just seem too similar. That's what I'm trying to say. I need them to look a little bit different, even though they're like Myelix with some extra, you know, from Fallout with some extra gadgets on them. I still just, I, I yearn for them not to look so technological and just be something else. Um, but, you know, I like fighting the Promethean soldiers in number five, so they're not that bad. It's just, that's the thing that gets me. That's the thing that bothers me. I had to think about that because I was thinking there was something that was bothering me about Halo 4 and 5, and I cracked it. We're coming up to the last few minutes. You know, I've I tried. I've been trying not to speak as much, and now I'm talking too much. I'm sorry. Commander Palmer, Crimson has their artifact offline. Acknowledged. Excellent work. That whole place is going to come down on Crimson's head. I noticed, Roland. Crimson, move now. Get out. Okay. Of okay. Run. Run. Showing off. Sarah, how's it going on Requiem? It's getting awful warm out here. Crimson got their score. Ours is proving slightly more difficult. Anybody tell right. these goons their bodies left them behind? Majestic, move up! Coming through! Fire in the hole! Source, here it is! On it! Palmer's gonna die. Move it, Majestic! Palmer gonna die. Is anyone gonna die? Artifacts offline. Let's get out of here. Yes. Dr. Glassman? It's off the floor, Captain. Try now, Lieutenant James. It's working. We're free. Very surprised Glassman lived. Very surprised. He looks like the I'm going to die first character. And he's lived. So, bravo, sir. Well done. Wow. LT, get us the hell out of here. Aye, sir. Wow, okay, so they got rid of Requiem by dipping it into a star. Now, Lou. Yep. 
Oh, I did not expect that. Emergency jump complete, Captain. Injuries reported on multiple decks, but no major casualties. Captain Lasky to all crew. We made it. Good work, everyone. You sent them to stop me. I sent them to rescue Dr. Halsey. You see a difference? I do. Doctor, what have you got? Well, the, the first test showed that it is inert. But this part's really weird. <laughs> okay. On a molecular level, it's incomplete. It just, it makes no sense. It's like, it's like we're only seeing half of it. <laughs> ah, fuck. That was before I knew my compatriots were a hit squad, not a rescue team. Not that I've fared much better in your care. No, Moe so he, they didn't have an argument. I, that's what they got. That's what they were theorizing in uh, Halo Five. It turns out that no, she uh, she got shot, and then they just had to amputate the arm in order to save a life. And yet she's so grateful. The UNSC just tried to execute me. So you'll need to offer something other than idle threats if you want me to help you. That's easy, Jewel. I want revenge. I didn't expect that at all. Uh because she wants power. I mean, I guess she has to have revenge in order. Uh, maybe she's saying that to get on his good side. That seems like a trick. That seems like a trick. I don't think she wants revenge at all. Right, guys. So that is it. That is the Halo 4 Spartan Ops cutscenes and cinematics. Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. I mean, I didn't get to see the gameplay. So the gameplay, I, supposedly I was told it was quite drawn out and quite the slog at times. but. But I've watched the cutscenes in the cinematics. I'm all caught up with where uh, Catherine Halsey got to Jewel and Dharma. And I know how Halo 5 started. I'm, I'm all caught up now. I'm ready. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Look after yourselves. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.